Hello everyone, this is Bob Wall with The Bob Wall Show. I'm excited because tonight we are at the home of the River City Rascals. It's Alzheimer's Awareness Night and we're going to talk a little baseball and we're going to talk about some things you can do to help contribute to the cause. Okay, I am here with Kylie and David. David is Vice President of Ticket Operations. Ticket Sales, yeah. Vice President of Ticket Sales. We rehearsed it twice, I still got it wrong. <laughs> and then Kylie is with the Villages of St. Peter's Memory Care. You got correct? it. Correct, and you are? The Admissions Coordinator. Great, great. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time to talk to me. Uh, this is a really cool uh, night out, Alzheimer's Awareness Night. You guys are a sponsor, your organization is a sponsor. Uh, I'll have you start out telling us a little bit about Villages of St. Peter's Memory Care. Absolutely. So Villages of St. Peter's Memory Care is an assisted living community for those living with dementia. So it's a very unique entity because it's home to those who are very varying cognitive levels, but physically they can come in and um, they're able to walk on their own, maybe with the assistance of a wheelchair or a walker, and they're able to gracefully age in place so they can stay there through hospice if necessary. We're also part of NHC, National Healthcare Corporation. So we offer a continuum of care next door to our community called Villages of St. Peter's. So at our community, Villages of St. Peter's Memory Care, we're specifically designed for those living with dementia and Alzheimer's. So we're set up on one single level. level. There's no elevators, there's no um, sets of stairs. And we are designed around a village concept. So there's four identical neighborhoods. That way, if somebody who's living there does move from one neighborhood to the other, it's not a confusing factor for them. So it's a wonderful, unique building that I welcome you all to come in and check out. Well, great. Well, thank you. I think that's awesome. And David, this is really cool that you guys are a part of this. What does it mean for you guys to be able to contribute and to what type of feedback do you get from the community with these types of Short events? Yeah, yeah, so with these events, Josh I mean, this, it, it, it's, it's awesome to be a part of it. Uh, my grandfather uh, passed away from Alzheimer's back in 2014, and so when I got here in November, this was one of the things that I really wanted to do here. I wanted to put together a night, uh, raise awareness for, for Alzheimer's, and obviously with great partners like Villages of St. Peter's Memory Care, being able to put this thing together, uh, it's been great. Um, and, and the response from the community in year one has been fantastic, and I'm, I'm already looking forward to year two. That's awesome, and you guys do provide an awesome experience for people coming to watch a ball game. Uh, the facility itself, the ballpark itself is almost impeccable. I mean, outside it's very impressive. It, you know, it's, it, it's definitely, it has a good baseball feel to it. So. Yeah, very. it's a very old school feel to it um, with, the, with the manual scoreboard and there's really not a bad seat in the house. So it's a, it's a great place to catch a game. It's awesome, it's awesome. And Kylie, what, what does it mean for your organization to be able to put on this sort of thing? It means so much to our organization and to the families and the people that are living at our community. We love partnering with River City Rascals, with David here. Um, actually, one of our neighbors who lives at our community was able to throw out one of the first pitches. It was very cool. And really the main goal of a night like this is to hopefully end Alzheimer's in the future. And while we're waiting to find a cure, the other main goal is to raise awareness. And hopefully with that education, we'll be able to better care for those living with dementia and Alzheimer's. Well, great. Well, guys, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. It's been a blast. And, uh, you know, I look forward to hopefully future events like this. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you. So, okay. I am here with Mary Williams. We are inside, home of the River, River City Rascals. And you are the walk manager for the Alzheimer's Association, correct? Yep. So I'm the walk manager for St. Charles County and Lincoln County. Um, so the walk manager as a committee, we... Um, put on the walk to end Alzheimer's and where raise awareness in the community about our services and programs. Okay, okay. And your role your role within the organization is essentially to make sure we have a good Yep, so we make turnout, sure so. sure that we have a good turnout, that we get sponsors, um, teams and um, a fun family day. So um, kids are invited. St. Charles County is on September 29th at the St. Charles Community College. And then Lincoln County is um, on October 13th at Troy Middle School. So if, so if people want to get involved to whether starting a team for the St. Charles 
County Walk coming up on it's September 29th, correct? Correct. If so, if September people are, 29th. That's a little bit uh, a ways away, but not really. Like that sneaks up on everyone very quickly. It does sneak up, and we have found that the sooner you start a team, the more fundraisers that you can have, or the more involved you can get your family. So there's not really um, there's not a charge to walk. We just ask that if you can try to raise um, a little bit, that's great. If not, just come out for the day. Okay, that's great. So they can actually go to ALZ. Um, dot org forward slash greater mo forward slash walk and they can pick any walk we have 21 walks out here two in illinois and 19 in missouri okay and there's a number of there's a number of events leading up to the walk as well um what events and days and what days are those on home run home run oh, home run, home run. <laughs> So there's some events leading up to the walk itself. I'll have you talk about those and the days oh, perfect. of those events. So our first event comes up on um, July 14th and it's, called, it's the Unforgettable Ride. We start at um, St. Charles Motorsports. And so all the motorcycles out there, please look on the webpage and we have that listed. And then we have the Race to Remember, which is the 5K and a one mile walk on July 28th. Well, that's great. Well, that's great. Well, thanks so much for coming on to promote the oh, event you. it's going to be a fun night perfect time of year really the oh, end of yeah. september it's, it's always wonderful. rock solid weather even if it's a little warmer yeah. you're still in manageable yes, type of it warmth, is. So. And across, <laughs> we have not been rained out yet but it goes yeah. on rain or shine yeah. so if you're interested in the walk please just um if you go on the page my cell phone number's on there give me a call i can help you with anything you need so thank you so much all right well thank you right. thank you well that concludes this week's episode of the bob wall show thank you so much for joining us goodbye for now i'll see you next week Yay! <laughs>